Does it bug you that uh, people, when they talk about Jacques Fresco in Miami, say that he's someone who's too far ahead of his time? His thinking is, we're not ready for advanced kind of thinking of no, that mean, type. Does it bug I, you? I imagine every creative person in every field encounters that sort of problem. No, it doesn't. I can't afford it. There's too many things that are important. The reason we emphasize machines and technology is to free men to go to art centers, music centers, cultural centers, and to find the meaning of their own existence and lives. How much the problem, though, is a political structure is how do you start changing a society this much which has really no political system? No, it has no political system. It is not affiliated with any political party. It is neither communist, fascist, nor socialist, nor democratic. socio cyberneering is a sort of a quantum jump, a, a severe departure in man's way of thinking. How do you make a severe departure with millions of people? With millions of people, well, I think you pretty much understand that most of the development we have in our society today, the technology, the airplane, TV, radio, uh, modern t production technology, is really done by very few people. I would say several hundred people comprise the modern technological civilization. But you don't need pe millions of technicians and millions of scientists. How many people did you know of today sit in their home and play their phonograph and radio and TV have any idea of how this works? So, we're dealing with many different cultures, subcultures, and values. Our culture, if we are to grow and build a civilization worthy of humankind, we have to have a quantum jump in the way we look at our world, people, and ourselves. The Venus Project is the redesign of a culture in which the elements that comprise the culture are different. For example, our cities are round. Not because I like round cities. The city is round. The center of the city has a socially integrated computer. This may be a medical center. This might be an engineering center. And if you work in a medical center, you live in beautiful gardens with running streams and waterfalls. And every district is the same distance from the center. There are no cars in the city. You get on a conveyor and dial where you want to go to. There's no crime in the city. Just before the public library in the United States, People said, well, you can't really do that. The people never bring back the books. They'll keep them. They won't return them. Of course, all that was incorrect. I want to build a library where any child can walk in, check out a camera, check out art materials, check out water skis, make things available. People don't steal. No one's going to hit you on the head to take your watch off if it's available. Well, how are you going to pay for this central library? that gives children these things for nothing. Well, it cost about 50,000 bucks to keep a kid in jail one year. An adult, 75,000 bucks a year. Food, clothing, shelter, dental care. Isn't it easier to do it in a different way?